Hello friends, I am Neha and once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel about technology. In this video tutorial we will be discussing about what OLTP and OLAP is, why there was a need of these two different kind of operational systems and how they differ from each other. So without any delay, let's get started. Whenever we talk of data of any company, enterprise, organization, bank, etc., then on the basis of time, we can categorize data as historical data and current data. In day-to-day -day operations, historical data is rarely accessed and the current data is accessed frequently. But if we talk of size, then we have huge amount of historical data as it is collected over years and the current data we have is comparatively less. Now, if we implement an operational system consisting both historical and current data, then due to the added up size of data, the time required to access any data will increase. Hence, there was a need to implement two different kind of operational systems. So, we have implemented OLAP to deal with historical data and OLTP to deal with current data. Now, let us talk about OLTP that is Online Transaction Processing System. It is an operational system that enables execution of large number of database transactions over the internet. OLTP is implemented to handle day-to-day -day operations that involve simple transactions such as insert, delete, modify, etc. OLTP is used only for processing data and this kind of applications is used by clerks, cashiers, DBAs, etc. Now let us discuss examples of OLTP. OLTP is used for online banking ATM is also an OLTP operational system that manages your short transactions. OLTP is used while booking your tickets online, let's say train or airline tickets. OLTP is also used while online shopping. Now let us talk about OLAP that is Online Analytical Processing System. These kind of operational systems are used for analyzing data. As it contains historical data, it helps in making decision for company's benefit. In OLAP, data can be stored or accessed offline. The OLAP systems are generally used by higher level employees of the company like business analysts, CEOs who make decisions for company's benefit. Now let us talk about the examples of OLAP. OLAP systems are mostly used for planning budgets, making sales strategy, analyzing market for promoting new products and nowadays it is even used by digital platforms such as YouTube as it recommends you videos based on your watched history. Now let us talk about differences between OLTP and OLAP. OLTP operates on current data of an enterprise whereas OLAP operates on the historical data of an enterprise. OLTP manages data modification occurred during day-to-day -day operation and OLAP extracts data for decision making. The source of data in OLTP is OLTP itself and its transactions while the source of data in OLAP is merger of different OLTPs. OLTP transactions are short while OLAP transactions are long. OLTP requires less time to process data whereas OLAP requires more time to process data. OLTP queries are short and simple on other hand OLAP queries are long and complex. OLTP database has normalized tables whereas OLAP database doesn't have normalized tables. In OLTP, integrity of database must be maintained, whereas integrity of database is not affected in OLAP as such. OLTP uses traditional database to store data, however, OLAP uses data warehouse to store data. End users of OLTP are clerks, cashiers, DBA, etc., whereas the end users of OLAP are business analysts, CEOs of the company. OLTP require comparatively less space when compared with OLAP. Backup of OLTP is taken regularly whereas the backup of OLAP is taken rarely. For more details you can refer our official website techdifferences.com. I had provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We will be back again soon with a new video. Till then take a good care of yourself.